Hi, everyone. This is Blessing with my teammates, Mercedes and Francesca. And today we'll be dis discussing social media, the good, the bad, the indifference about social media. Why do people put their business on front street like that? Like, even we've had internet for a long time and it's the past, maybe, maybe it started really during COVID maybe, because I don't remember it being this bad before COVID, but everybody just put in their business on front street, um, airing their business, everybody and their mama making comments. Like, do you think since you're putting your business out there in front street that, you know, it's okay for anybody to just comment on your, on your, uh, on what you post that whatever they say, it's okay. Cause you invited it because you put your uh, business out there on front street. I mean, some people are just not, some people are okay with putting their private information out there. Um, but I just wonder if later on would they regret it? Like right now, you know, they're in a certain, you know, mode, um, you know, they're maybe in a different certain age group. It can be different things. Right. And then later on, they can look back at these videos and like, why did I put that information out there? What was I thinking? I, I just wonder that. A lot of it started during COVID because most of us were shut in the house. So people got bored. That's kind of how this all really got started. Mm -hmm. um, most people start to realize that they're making money sitting at home. So that's kind of where a lot of this came from. So the 15 minutes of fame and going viral. Uh, most people became influencers after COVID. But yeah, when you do put something out there, just like a celebrity does, if it's out there, it's out there. And it's, you know, room for anybody to judge you. Right. So if you don't want it out there, then you wouldn't put it. But right now, I think it's to the point everybody's putting everything out there because they're looking to get famous. Right. Right. And, and you know, like with celebrities, people, like, go, go ahead. No, I was just going to say some people did get famous, you know, during that time. Right. And, you know, a <laughs> lot of these celebrities also like, what's her name? What's her name? Doja Cat. She, mm -hmm. I think she deactivated her. Instagram recently because she couldn't take the negative uh, comments anymore, the rude comments from people. But if you post weird things on your Instagram and you're known for being weird, I mean, wh what uh, type of fan base do you expect to attract? And then also with DJ Khaled, you know, he's Palestinian and with all the stuff that's happening in Palestine, a lot of his um, followers, especially the ones from Palestine, want him to make statements every single day, and he doesn't. So it's like, where do we draw the lines between what's happening in social media and re and the realities of our lives? So yeah, it's it's a tough it's a tough line, I think. I remember when uh, Cardi B when she became famous. Mm -hmm. And she was talking about how she was kind of affected by the comments, right? Right. You know, because I feel like, you know, Cardi B, she's really down to earth. She's, you know, she's very authentic, you know, and she just, you know, says whatever. But when some of her personal information came out, you know, she, you know, she kind of voiced her opinion about it. She didn't right. really like it. Right. So, you know, everybody, um, Everybody, you know, doesn't they want the attention or maybe they put themselves out there. But then certain things, you know, they may have a problem with. I mean, she was really bothered by it. Uh, I remember she put out something a while ago. She was blaming the lack of something being done on, in New York to President Biden. And a whole, and then a whole. I remember a whole bunch of people saying, well, it's not Biden's fault. You know, that's your state people's fault, you know? So she was like mm -hmm. putting out false information out there, you know, saying, oh, what's happening in my state is due to Biden. Mm -hmm. And then people were like saying, no, it's not. It's due to your state. So, you know, and they have big platforms. And and a lot of people that put out, uh, out all this misinformation out there are people with huge platforms. And especially Charlemagne the God, you know, he's like deemed the political 
pundit for the black community. He's like, he represents the black community and he's, you know, puts forth a lot of misinformation. What do you guys think? I think, well, the problem is this freedom of speech. Anybody can sign in, do an account, and they can post whatever they want, just as long as it's not, you know, attacking anybody. But at the end of the day, like these platforms, if nobody's monitoring what's being right. said and what's going on, then it's going to be out there. Right. That's the problem now with social media. The more it keeps growing, anybody can be a news reporter. Yeah. Anybody can videotape something and make content. Just like when I go on YouTube, right. there's so much clickbait. By the time you click on something, you think it is, mm -hmm. you know, you're getting some information, but it's it's clickbait just to get you to click on some stuff. Mm -hmm. So that's you can't stop that right now. And then to kind of go back with um, the no privacy thing, celebrities have social media managers. Right. You can turn your comments off, or you can let them run your page. So. I don't get when people get their feelings hurt over a comment. It's called don't read it. Either turn your comments off or keep going. Right. right. I remember reading a, a, a quote from Oprah. Like, are, are you reading the comments? Like, I don't read the comments. Like, she doesn't read the comments. I mean, because she probably knows that people are always saying things. Yes. You know, and she knows who she is. So she's mm -hmm. not even worried about, you know, anybody else's opinion. So, right. you know. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, like. Yeah, like Mercedes says, if you don't like what's being put out there, either turn off your comments, don't read the, your comments, or skip whoever's giving you the information. Like, if I don't want to hear from Charlemagne the God, I don't click on anything he's on. <laughs> so it is your choice. We have freedom of, of speech. We also have freedom of choice. So, mm -hmm. you know, yep, either... Skip the comments, don't read it, or don't watch the video. And then now we come to the whole career aspect of social media. People are getting rich off of social media, quitting jobs, but people don't understand the dark side of social media. So what do you guys think? There's no career. There's no insurance. Stability is not there, no 401k. This is not something to do long term. You can do it temporary to get to where you're trying to go, but long term, it's not going to work. So right. it's always going to be somebody coming in bigger and better. You're always going to be competing. And then lastly, you got to continuously come up with the latest trends and finding ways to keep your viewers coming back for more. And once they get bored, because we're in an ADHD world right now. Right. Once they get bored, they move on to the next thing. And then now you're stuck trying to figure, you know, figure something out. Right. What do you think, Francesca? Well, I also think I, I agree with Mercedes, you know, in terms of the stability, you know, not having like a, you know, a 401k. I mean, you may make a certain amount of money one month and it, it could change the next month. I mean, but, you know, that happens in business in general. Right. Right. But I think about this. <laughs> You know, when you're constantly creating content on social media, it's kind of a lot more work than just your regular nine to five. Right. You know, you're constantly, you know, having to do research, making videos. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a lot of work, right. you know. So you may be, you know, working longer days just to keep up with the content. Right. Exactly. You're mm -hmm. like working. You might be working more than nine to five. Like, yeah. With no, with no benefits, like really, I never really thought of it that way. Like every single day, like Monday through 24 uh, seven, really. Yeah. I never thought of it that way. Like you're working all these long hours more than myself. I only work eight hours a day right now. They're demanding, you know, that we do overtime at work. I'm just like, Oh my God, it's kicking my butt. I don't want to do it. But I couldn't imagine mm -hmm. myself doing more than 10 hours a day every day with no benefits. That's crazy right. to me. Right. But a lot of them are make, becoming millionaires, though, so I guess it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but again, it's not long term. Remember, mm -hmm. you can be the hottest thing. And once, once your like, status kind of declines, they move on to the next to the next right. latest thing. You're not viral anymore. They move on. That's the thing. You got to maintain that status. Right. And some of them have a hard time maintaining that. So, right. so at mm -hmm. the end of the day, social media is um, quite, I guess, a necessary evil at times 
because social media is very entertaining and it could be a source of good, honest information, but it also has this dark side. So, you know, it all depends on, you know, on how you manage your social media. And right. also, how you, also how you use it too. So right. try to not be on social media all day. You got to at least go out in the real world and interact right. with people. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it can be so addictive. I could see my, like before I really started working full time, I swear mm -hmm. to you, I was on Facebook, uh, X or Twitter and uh, what's the other one? Instagram a lot. And I'm like, oh my God, that's, this is all I do with my life now, just on social media. I don't know, is it, I don't know, it's like, it's weird. It's like, it can be a drug. And now I'm kind of yeah. addicted to TikTok because I watch my ice videos, people chewing on ice. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes no sense how, how addicting it can be. So it can also rule your life. Don't allow it to rule your life. Mm -hmm. For sure. Definitely. Mm hmm that closes out another podcast for you guys. Hopefully you guys join us on our you know next podcast and we'll see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm. Bye.